month here in this very very modest setup we will celebrate the positivity of the perceptions of individuals like Akhil Sajjad. The particular theme, the particular topic that Akhil is going to be speaking on or sharing his positive perceptions on is going to be active citizenship and how he's also going to share as to how in his opinion all of us could be active citizens. Mr. Akhil Sajjad, the student who, which the Ministry of Education would not allow to pursue science, they would not allow to, to take his FSC exam, is now doing a PhD at Harvard University in physics. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Akhil Sajjad. We have various tools like you know, blogs, writing in various newspapers, writing to our um, political leaders, um, sometimes organizing civil society groups, uh, even taking out demonstrations. Uh, these are all different tools that uh, you use uh, on issues that, that you feel uh, strongly about. Uh, <clears throat> so at one level, this is what an active citizen does. But on the other hand, it's also important to think about an environment that um, enables more and more citizens to be active. How, how one can start being an active citizen. Um, and I think one place to start is, uh, is school itself, actually. Uh, school is the first place where you start socializing with people, you start learning how to interact with others. Uh, at home, uh, a kid is the center of everybody's attention, and then at, at school, things change. I can remember a class fellow of mine who used to sometimes take on teachers, um, teachers with an attitude problem. Um, now, sometimes students are trying to be over smart and sometimes they're being brash. Uh, but in this case, in his case, there were times when he took a stand on something that even now, so many years later, I think were, his, his stand was justified on, on a few occasions. And his uh, uh, parents backed him. Moving on, of course, uh, in a healthy school environment, you need to have um, debates, you need to have um, not speeches but debates where you, know, you have different positions and people argue, students learn to argue with each other. So at that level student politics also becomes important. So s schools and then later universities have to become nurseries for active citizens. My story is that of a middle class family. Uh, parents not very political. Someone who wouldn't take on teachers uh, or and it's not just a case of taking on them on. I mean, so taking them on is an extreme example where you really have a problem. But also, I mean, just interacting, giving them suggestions constructively and proactively, someone who wouldn't be that proactive. But at some level, um, <clears throat> I mean, I had a certain desire to, to get politically involved uh, in Pakistan's affairs. And the opportunity that I actually got, uh, the breakthrough, I mean, after having tried to write in newspapers a few times and nobody published, eventually that opportunity came to me at Harvard, actually. But it doesn't have to be that way. And for many others, it's, it doesn't turn out this way. So uh, it's not just, uh, it's, so it's important not to focus on, on the fact that I went to Harvard and that got me the opportunity. It's more important for you to focus on how that opportunity came about and how it can come up, how we can get similar opportunities here in Pakistan. We all know about these basic tools like, you know, writing to political representatives, writing to the media, all these things. Uh, but the question really is, how do we use all these things in a positive way, in a way that really brings about uh, a positive change um, to society? And this is where I get to uh, the other, uh, you know, a uh, couple of issues that I uh, raised. One, of course, being that of um, creating a more enabling environment for, for people uh, to participate. Uh, and the other being the road to hell is often paved with good intentions. What will bring more accountability in the political system? What will help us um, have informed debates about politics? The media at present 
uh, I mean, changing from the PTV days, it, it has changed a lot. And today, uh, we have these private channels and a lot of talk shows, a lot of uh, debate. The missing link there is that too many talk shows repeat the same discussion over and over again. And there's a group of 30, maybe 25, 30, 35, 40 people who keep on coming back. Same people coming back again and again in, the, in those talk shows, repeating the same thing again and again. What we can do in this day and age of blogs, mailing lists, email, um, uh, that it's, it's very simply that we can write a lot to, to the media and we can demand that they need to bring more and more focus on, uh, on these issues, issues that really concern the people and shape. Politics should center around these issues rather than these issues being held hostage by politics. How do you suggest we sort of, you know, break through that? In this visit, I also interacted with a few TV anchors and this is part of the feedback that I gave. And I, I mean, like you said, they're often not willing to accept it. Um, and, you know, one of the excuses they gave is that people, this is what people want. These 30-odd people are very popular um, as, as speakers, so we have them again and again. Now, I'm not entirely convinced that this is true because I think uh, sometimes people, uh, I mean, people often want new discussions. So I think to some extent this is a, uh, this is a myth among media circles. If you keep on working uh, on your own, at your individual level, one day that they will come that when you will be registered. So you don't have to be threatened or discouraged or you don't have to be disappointed by the registered or the well-known names or uh, people who are on uh, electronic media or even on the print media. Uh, your uh, unconventional or your unusual things eventually would take attention. Your points are very well taken that the media is, is a very, it's not a very inclusive space. Because let's face it, media is also an industry. They have to pay their bills. Um, but we also have the Dawn Citizens Journalist, for instance. Um